Now the hard part is figuring out which hitch we're gonna need. Well, that's gonna be a two inch. Good luck finding that. Two and five sixteenths. Two and five sixteenths. Two inch. Probably gonna be too short. Two and five sixteenths. Two and five sixteenths. Two inch with a rise. Nope, that one's gonna be too tall. Two inch with four inch drop. I think we got about one of everything. Well, if you're like me, you have too many hitches and too many traders and you usually don't have the right hitch for the right trader when you need it. So at least do this, when you're keeping your toolbox, it is important to make sure you keep extra feed sacks in here just so you can keep them cushioned so they don't get all bunged up and rusted. If they were only a solution, so we didn't have to have 15 hitches for five traders. There it is. The B and W tow and stow. I bet this thing will work for us. Let's try it out. So the first thing you do is you take this one right here, you just get it out of the way. So what's nice about this, I've got two traders here. One's a two inch ball, one's a two and five sixteenths ball. They're two different heights because they're two different size axles. Well, this has a two in five sixteenths ball and a two inch ball, and it's adjustable up and down. It's gonna make life easy. This is not a sponsored review. Uh, this is a hitch that we use every day. We have this hitch on every one of our tow vehicles. Uh, we use multiple different trader setups with multiple different coupler sizes. We just like the hitch. We've used it for years. Um, B&W stands behind their product. They have a great product. They have many different sizes to offer. We'll leave links below in our description. So check those out. The great thing about the B&W hitch, like I said, they offer many hitches but they're gonna have the right hitch for your truck. So once you figure out your tow vehicle needs, whether it's a two inch, two and a half, or a three inch shank, um, then figure out the drop you need, whether you need a five inch drop like this one, um, if you're just got a stock ride height, or maybe you've lifted your truck, you can go to one of the, the deeper drops. You can also invert this and use it for a rise. I um, mean, they have a ton of accessories. One of the things I like most about this, when you're not towing, you can flip this underneath the truck and get rid of the old shin knocker. So you just pull a pin, put the ball in that position, pull both of these pins out and flip it around. Then it's up underneath your receiver and it doesn't stick out for you to knock your shin or your kneecap off on like we all do. They come most common in the two inch and two and five sixteenths ball setup. But if some of y'all guys have that old inch and seven eighths boat treader still laying around, they do make this in a tri ball so you can haul that thing around. Can somebody steal this head if they remove this pin? They cannot get the head off with it on the truck. If you pull this pin and pull the hitch out, this head can come off to accept some of the other BMW um, accessories. Um, but if you have this on there with a lock pin, which we recommend, and we'll leave a link for this style lock below, um, we found this is the hardest to take off. At the end of the day, this is only going to keep the honest people honest, but at least make them work for it. Just don't give your hitch away. The b and I highly recommend. It's just a good, versatile hitch. Many different sizes. Be sure to get a lock pin for it. And remember, this is an investment, but you just have to make a decision. If you're going to be towing every day, this is the way to go. You can own 40 of these that you can't ever find the right one, or you can own one of these for your tow vehicle. It looks nice when it's not in the towing position and it'll just go great with your truck. Now that I got this, I can throw all them other hitches away and have more room for feed sacks in my toolbox. That's a deal, man.